welcome back to our channel. <coughs> Sorry, um, we're gonna do three Helen Fresh meals over three days. But um, I thought I'll film it this time because the last one, the video got deleted. This is the bag for herby chicken, red onion mash, and garlicky green beans. Um, I am using my own garlic instead of chopping it because I've always smelled the garlic for days. Uh, two chicken breast bits um, they've give us. And then all the ingredients in it. I'm gonna get everything prepped and then I'll be back. Over here. Um, now I'm breading. Now I'm breading. Now I'm prepping the chicken. I've got the potatoes on to boil already. And I've done the breadcrumbs here, which Casey will show you. Um, <laughs> I've lost me, me thing. Um, salt and pepper to taste. I'm only gonna do a little bit of pepper, hopefully not loads comes out. Bless you. Bless you. And then I need another spoon. I need the spoons you use. Um not with no spoons left. I don't know how I'm gonna open this. I need some wait then, I'm just gonna get some scissors, okay? I don't know where my scissors are going, I'll have to find them after. Keep them up, love. I don't think I slept well last night. Hey, don't do that. Well, I don't know. It's not mustard. What is it? Mayonnaise. I don't like that either. Yeah, well, you're not going to taste it once it's cooked. And then <clears throat> half the breast with the sprinkle, then it's the crumb mixture. I left the parsley still quite a bit chunky. So far, I'll be here all week <laughs> chopping parsley. Looks delicious. And then roasted chicken for 25 to 30 minutes. Put that in. Alexa, 30 minute timer. 30 minutes, starting now. Right now, I've got to prep the green beans. What about the onion? I don't say nothing about that onion. The onion is not used. Is there oh, here onion? we go. Chicken's no longer cooking. Is there? Meanwhile, I'll heat a special ball in a frying pan. There you go. Let me get me onion gadget. I think it's onion. onion. Watch what you're doing. You keep doing. Oh. I've got bad knees. I'm just using the bag it will come in to put all the rubbish in instead of keep walking to the bin yeah because it's so far away it's behind me it's better to put it all in at once so. now my potatoes are going to be done before the chicken Gadget. I got it from Poundland, but it was actually two pound. But it's really good. Got some nice. Whoa! Don't cut yourself. 
just gonna cut them again just to be on the safe side. Right now I've got them. I'm meant to put this bit in first. Oh, it's one of them days, Casey. Isn't that every day? And then you just connect it, lock it, and away we go. There we go, and look at that. No, no you keep moving it. Because you keep moving. No, keep moving so it's in the centre. Case! You don't need to move. I need to put this in the. I might need it for the next recipe. I'm going to use that pan to cook green beans. I'll be right back. To the onions, because it wanted me to add it to the potatoes once it's ready to be mashed. And I've, it just sort of put me off to the end. So I'm just going to add it to the onions and then add it in the mash once we're ready to serve. I mean, potatoes are still boiling. <laughs> so the potatoes are done. I'm gonna get ready to mash them now. It said to add me onion and garlic. So that's what I'm adding now. Mix it through. And then I'll add the milk and butter. But we have an issue with butter. Because that's all we got left. <laughs> so might be more milk this time, but it's alright. You work with what you got. Yeah, and then we'll have to go. When we go shopping. Well, obviously we go shopping when we go shopping. Where's me masher? Oh. And then just mash till. Oh, it said to add salt and pepper as well. Can you keep the foam still? I'm trying. Well, you pointed to the salt and pepper and moved it. Turn the other off. as smooth as I'm going to get it because I did leave the skins on the potatoes to make it a bit more flavourful. So the potatoes are done. Uh, we just got cooked green beans so it says heat a splash of oil in your new now empty frying pan. Green beans for two minutes add garlic and season with salt. Oh add water 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 okay right, i'm now prepping the green beans I've got me water I've got them in the pan i wonder what i'm saying hello don't want to cook me i don't know how long they need to be in there for does it say two minutes okay when they go a bit crunchy, they did give me more than this, but we were only cooking half because there was loads. Loads, and then we, I think, we add the water. Yeah. 
Yeah, we just need to add the water to sort of steam it, I think. Yeah, I ain't got a lid though. Put a plate on top. Alright, Mum. Who's the mum? Sorry about the noise. Ouchie, my ears. Make sure you. I am. You wasn't, because a minute ago it was down here. Has that been two minutes? No. Checking I had the hob on because I've done that a few times. It said to use the pan I cooked the onions in, in so that's why it looks a bit brown. A bit of extra onion and garlic. I'm just going to add the water and put the plate on. Doesn't look like not, <laughs> it's not a big enough plate. I think we failed. Done. I've just drained them with the water. They're nice and soft. So we're going to plate up because the chicken has two minutes left. And then I'll show you the end results and maybe a taste test. So thanks. So here's our plates. This is Casey's because she might not like the chicken because she's fussy. This is mine. It doesn't look like the picture, which is there. And then mine, but it smells divine. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow with the next recipe. Thanks, bye. Hi, so today's um, menu is super quick beef ragu with penne pasta and spinach. Um, I have already prepared half the stuff, and the pasta's actually in my pressure cooker. Done. Because um, I don't want the video to be a hundred years long, so we're gonna fry the mince. No, stay here. Okay. You're still helping, case. Um, sorry about that. So we're gonna fry the mince. Uh, I've already chopped everything. Um, and then I then add the herbs and mushrooms. Cook for two minutes. Then the Worcestershire sauce, the stock pot, um tomatoes and then add the spinach and then serve oh they didn't give us any parmesan cheese oh so we'll just grate it we'll just cover it with our own cheese anyway so yeah see you in a minute a few moments later We're gonna add the mints if I can get it open. And yes, I found my scissors from, wow. from yesterday. So I couldn't find them. Why don't this cut though? Oh, here we go, here we go. The scissors are quite trust me. I'm just gonna wait for it to warm up a minute. because I'm going to have to try and cut it out now. What are you doing? Oh, let's have it. It should heat up in a minute. That's a nice big chunk. 240 grams in mince this is. So maybe I should use my wooden spoon like it says. So let me spatch. Spatch is more spatula is more for making cake. And you fold over the dough. You're gonna make everyone seasick. Today. 
<coughs> so what do we add first? The mushrooms and then the carrots. Oh, it says when the beef is browned, add Italian herbs, carrots, and mushrooms. Cook for two minutes. This, at this rate, it's going to take about an hour to brown. Oh, I can hear it. It's starting to sizzle and stir. There we go. What do you look like? It's turning brown. There you are, it's all of it. I am waiting to get a camera and a tripod so Casey doesn't have to stand here for hours holding it. <laughs> Casey's got her own channel and camera. Yeah, but I never let you use my camera. Yeah, so I'll get one. Because we're moving uh, at the end of this month, beginning of the next month, as soon as. I might film it. Yeah, and Casey's going to film it for her channel. Um, so I'll link her below. Link me. Yeah, the channel. So if you want to see that, and everyone's stressing, then Ooh. let me know below if you want us to film us packing to move as well, or not. So yeah, that would be fun. We are going. We're currently near Liverpool, and we're now going to Kent in near London. So it's yeah, a big move. No, Kent's not in London. Mm -hmm. so, let us know if you want us to film that. That'll be a nice little video. Probably be like four hours long. I am going to try and edit this one. I just need to learn how to edit properly. Try. Maybe you should do watch a video of it first. Getting there with this meat, so. Casey's now got the cups. Don't worry, up. And tomorrow we have sweet and sour pork with a bulk of wheat. So that's what you that's what you see tomorrow. Or oh, well, for you in a minute. Well, the next clip, the next. Video. Oh no, the next few clips after this one. We're adding them all together. Yeah. It's nearly all done, and then we've got to add the herbs, the mushrooms, and the carrots all at once. Three. Maybe that one, that one, and that one. Oh, camera still. Camera. I've seen the time at the top. Just get that little nice little bit brown. Let's get adding herbs. Let's get some from the pit. Nice little smell. 
carrots. And yes, I did grate them myself and nearly lost me thumb. But that's the thing. But it's not, but yeah. I don't buy grated carrots. I normally just buy whole anyway. Or you get canned. Yeah, that's just go with our quick meals. I love like a salad. What a salad? Salad. But honestly, it looks like a salad for me. The Worcestershire sauce. I can't say that word. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. No. Right, it says add this until it evaporated. So, and then finely chopped tomatoes and red wine. Oh, that made me jump. It's because I don't put the dishes away. quickly and then the red wine sauce and tomatoes oh the tomatoes first and then this uh it's a red wine stock not sauce <coughs> so we'll add this that's all of that oops drop some on the cooker drippy droppy there's that. And then we'll mix oh, it. It smells so nice. We'll mix it all together. Casey gave yesterday's one an 8 out of 10 because she didn't like the herb top. <laughs> topping on the top. Topping on the Yeah. Topping on the Like the mixed herb topping. I even tasted the mayonnaise, so that bit was okay. I think it was meant to add water as well. No? No water. Mm. I'm just going to try and mix it so all of it gets. Oh, look, big clump of red wine sauce still. Stop. Oh, that's what I mean. Sorry. Okay, I'm stop. Maybe I should add a bit of water. I'm sorry, dripping. I'm scared to touch me. That's a tiny bit of water. Very tiny. Because this stock ain't melting otherwise, so. Oh, yeah, red wine stock it is. I thought I got it wrong again. And then the pasta's cooked, and it says spinach, stir the spinach through the, through the sauce a handful at a time until welted. Add the cooked pasta and stir to combine tip. Add the spinach, add a splash of water if the sauce is loosening. Ah, so you did have, need to add some, uh, water. It did need, it did need it. Well, that looks a bit lovely, doesn't it? Yes. It smells divine and looks divine. Right, I'm just going to start adding this. Casey then... Casey actually loves spinach, so... But I think I don't think she's ever had it fresh. Nope. Only frozen one. Mm -hmm. I think, I think I had it once. I think this, oh, mind you, spinach shrinks loads. 
I'm just going to drain the pasta while that wilts down a bit. Oh yeah, draining the pasta. Let me crush your cooker. The pastry is cooking more boy, more smoky than this. Mm, let me stir that. Whatever. This might actually be enough spinach for us. Oh, we'll see. It's the sound. A little bit more, a bit more mm. Yeah, let's do another half a handful, and then that should be good. Is well, it already sinking? It doesn't sink, Casey. It mm. welts. It's not fidgety. It's not even fidgety. I'm not gonna mix the pasta in with this, I'm gonna do it like you'll dish up a spaghetti bolognese. Yeah, I think that's done. Look up. You did it. So a bit of pasta. Pasta. I'll give you a lot of pasta. And then and there we go. Meal number two. This took 15 minutes. Thank you.